From the day that I got him fuzzy, I wanted her to be free. And I kept her in a free roaming environment for about nine months until it came time to start looking for an organization or a sanctuary for her to go to. And when I went around Zim, I just realized that there wasn't a facility that was practicing primate rehabilitation and release, which was quite sad because her freedom had been taken and I wanted to be able to give that back to her. So I made a promise to her that I would get her back into the wild and that's how Free to Be Wild started. So Free to be Wild is the first and only primate sanctuary in Zimbabwe specializing in primate rescue and rehabilitation, focusing on these animals that are just persecuted and killed, and it's legal to shoot them because they're classed as problem animals. So we started out as a primate sanctuary primarily. Four years later, we've just grown into accepting all species, all rescues. We currently up to date have about 50 animals in the sanctuary. Majority of them are in a release program. Every single rescue that comes in has a personal story and we make it a personal story. And we make it a personal mission for that animal to get the best chance of survival. Volunteers play such a huge um, role in that web. Their influence and their help goes so far in the rescuing of the wildlife and the rehabilitation. And the volunteer program has been a huge part of our survival. So we're really grateful for the people that chose to support our project because ultimately they've kept us alive. They've kept the trust in the sanctuary going.